YouTubers, welcome back to the Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Here tonight, another uh, beautiful night outside in southern New Brunswick. Blue sky up ahead, I see planes flying over the airport going overhead. I was just up there last week coming back from the uh, Albino Rhino Beer Fest. Anyway, we're going to take a look at a new beer from a brewery which is quickly becoming one of my favorite new breweries in New Brunswick. This is, uh, I haven't had a bad beer from these guys yet. In fact, uh, the only two that I've had for the, from these guys so far have both scored over four out of five. So I'm super excited to see what they can bring to the table with Maybe's Espresso, uh, sorry, Maybe's Eleven Seas Espresso Sout. 5.5% ABV from Farrington, New Brunswick. Not just for breakfast, but a great afternoon pick-me-up too. Unfiltered, unpasteurized. Made by hand at 559 Wisely Road, Farrington, New Brunswick. Maybe brew. So maybes, yes. Um, yeah, like I've, I've had the Roseway Red. That was a really good red, American Red Ale. Um, I had the uh, Work Horse, I Horse IPA, and I shared that with Guy and uh, Radar up in uh, Niagara Falls there last week. And everybody loved it. This one, um, I love coffee. Uh, I'm super excited to see what they can do with this one. Uh, I love coffee stouts even more. So let's crack the top off of this one as long as I haven't shaken it too much. And pour it into my Stella glass. Ooh, another good looking beer. Ooh, nice. Lots of head. Very dark appearance. Mocha color head on it. Thick. Hold it up to the light. I'm getting a little bit of ruby redness in there on the bottom, and that's it. That is. I'll get it later. Yeah, looks very, uh, looks very beautiful. That's a nice looking beer. Let's give it a sniff. Mmm. Mmm. I'm getting almost like biscuity, like arrowroot or something like that. Cookies. Along with a bit of uh, a bit of coffee, I'm not really getting espresso, but I am getting some kind of coffee. And almost like a like a burnt coffee, almost like uh, like coffee and and cigarettes or something. Not not like smoky cigarettes, but like there's a hint of smoke to it. Nice gourmet coffee coming out of this thing. It's almost like very tasty. Like not a Tim Hortons, but actually sitting down and getting a nice, like, sweet coffee. Nice, rosy sweet, caramel sweet. Boy, that smells beautiful. Now I feel like a huge coffee off of this one, and not your typical coffee note, but there is coffee there. Either way, either way, I'm actually kind of impressed there's a little bit of smokiness to it. Let's put this thing down the hatch. Hopefully the uh, smell taste carries into the taste. Mmm. Mm. It's like a, oh yeah, I'm getting the espresso now. It's like espresso and roast coffee. And the roast coffee kind of has this almost smoky coffee grind, dark roast kind of uh, taste to it. The stout part's a little thin, but not flat. Lots of espresso coffee coming out of the flavor, more so than I got in the aroma, which is nice. Lingering, leaving a lingering earthy, tart coffee, espresso coffee taste lingering down the back. Oh, that's nice. It's smooth and creamy, too. Hmm. As I drink it, the flavors kind of meld, and kind of disappear, and all you're left with is the lingering espresso in, in the core, in the back of your throat. As it dries out, that lingering espresso stays there, and that's the, the lasting feeling that you get from this. But as you get, if you drink it, you get around the tip of the tongue is where you get all the sweet caramel, roasty, well not the roasty flavors, but the sweet caramel chocolatey flavors. 
that's nice. It's not the best coffee stout that I've had. Not the best coffee stout that I've had in the last little while either. It had a delicious milk run that they made over at uh, Northwinds in Collingwood, Ontario. Um, but it's good. I, I like it. Um, I'm not sure if I like it as much as the others. I love, I love, I mean, I love it, but I, I don't know if I'm going to give it as much as the four. I still do approve of it, and I'm glad I bought two cans of it, because I'm going to enjoy this, uh, or at least send one to somebody else to enjoy. One thing it is making me is gassy. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'll give it about a 3.75 out of 5. It's delicious. It's tasty. Um, I would definitely try it if you had a chance to try it. I don't love it as much as Roseway Red or the uh, for for its style or the uh, um, the Workhorse IPA, which is a phenomenal, solid IPA. But uh, yeah, no, I would try it if you see it. If you're interested in trying, see if you go to I don't know if Maybe's has like a brew pub or anything that has a flight, but. If you're looking to try like four of their different beers, I would definitely go for this one as well. It's a great one to try. Anyway, uh, yeah, and I would definitely pick it up in cans as well, especially at the Pickering's General Store where I picked this one up as well. Anyway, thanks for watching Maxwell Star's beer review of Maybe's 11Z's Espresso Stout. Definitely worth checking out. 3.75 out of 5. Talk to you folks later. Cheers.